good to see you guys again i welcome you to gone to series tutorials in the last tutorial we created a restaurant class which has a greet customer method which greets a customer when we call this method and then we put its entry in the springs configuration file and provided its name as restaurant bean and then we wrote a test class where we requested spring framework to get us restaurant object this way and then we called greet customer method which printed welcome note on the console now in this tutorial we are gonna show how to set a property which is in the restaurant class from the configuration file what it means is we are gonna write a string property in the restaurant class and then provide its value from this things configuration file let's start go to the restaurant class and include a property welcome note provide its setter method I sometimes have a bad habit of writing setter method by myself. You can use Eclipse IDE to generate a setter method for any property that you write in your classes like right click, go to source and then generate setters and getters method. Alright. So now we have included one property welcome note in the restaurant class. We'll modify this greet customer method so that it won't use this hard coded welcome note and use this welcome note property to display a hello note or welcome note on the console now what we want is we want to provide its value from this springs configuration file so we have to modify springs configuration file as well Just to save some time, I've already updated this configuration file. I've included here this property with the name welcome note and provided its value as welcome to a restaurant. This property is exactly same as what we have written here in the restaurant class welcome note. All right, so all changes are done. At runtime, when we request Spring Framework to provide us with the restaurant object in the test class here, Spring Framework will implicitly create the restaurant object and then set its welcome note property with the value you have provided in the Spring's configuration file here using the setter method of welcome note property. Right? So our application is ready. Let's run and test it. Great, it has printed welcome to our restaurant value on the screen which is coming from the configuration file. In the next tutorial, we'll see a demo on dependency injection concept using the constructor way by modifying the same application. Guys, thanks for liking our tutorials and providing feedback to us through emails and comments. Believe me, your comments and feedback is really valuable to us. Do like this video if you really like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all updates on latest video tutorials and programming stuff.